there's a potential client whose bounce rate has more than doubled. It was 30% a few months ago and is now 70%. How does one go about looking for causes? Um, it's not really our specialty, but it's uh, CTR and you'd be doing it by, uh, or well, I guess it's not quite just CTR, but you'd be doing it by split testing, you know? Um, things that you've changed before and then looking at uh, what analytics says after whatever changes were implemented, right? Well, I was just um, going to say, first of all, before we dive into that, I was going to say the first thing that kind of makes me, if nothing has changed, it makes me think that um, almost maybe even like a site speed issue or something like what if, if, if nothing at all changed and now it's bouncing hard, like why all of a sudden have they bounced from the content? Um, but you know, well, but it, that's a that's an easy check. That's a but quick they're not check. saying that nothing has changed, right? Yeah, they didn't. They didn't no. really say nothing changes, so it's kind of hard. I, anyway, that's the first thing I would check is make sure there's no yeah. kind of like technical issue that would uh, basically some kind of issue with the site where it's not loading quickly or not loading properly or whatever for users. Uh, barring anything like that, then uh, what Nick was about to talk about. Yeah, which I mean, it's not something that like, uh, you know, I would say is my specialty. Um, and it's not something I really practice all that uh, much, to be honest with you. Well, um, so th there is one part of it that is our specialty, though, which is making sure that the page matches the user's search intent, which is probably the, um, the highest indicator if a user is going to bounce or not. So let's say, you know, I've been talking about our guest posts for whatever reason today. So let's say, um, a user types in guest posts and they are trying to learn about what guest posts are. And they then land on your site, which is saying, buy our guest posts, they're the best. Uh, this, this, they're, the search, what they're trying to do does not match, uh, you, you have not matched the search intent with the page that you're offering up for that SERP, um, which is something that you should be tackling in keyword research. But it's also possible for Google to basically the algorithm is learning. It's learning what a topic is about and they, they start to adjust uh, a SERP. So maybe before when someone would type guest post, they would just return a bunch of, you know, uh, different vendors, whatever, this is where you buy guest posts. And now Google is saying, well, now for this search term, we want uh, actually informational articles that aren't selling at all. And so you know, in that case, uh, your bounce rate would go way up because they decided to kind of shift what they're returning for that search result. And uh, you would have to, um, you know, create some new content to rank for it, maybe move some stuff around or however you want to do it, basically. Um, sorry, Nick, I interrupted you like 20 times. Uh, no, I mean, you're good. It's just, it, I think, um, like, so the main thing is just we don't have a lot of variables to go off of here. So, you know, between the time that it was 30% and now it's 70%, you'd want to look at all those variables that went in over that time frame um, and kind of conceptualize what could have triggered something like this. However, then you've got variables like what Chris was talking about where things change in the SERPs and all of a sudden, you know, um, there's sort of like a mix in what's being searched for and what, you know, the user is actually looking for. Um, so you'd basically start off, you know, to look for these causes, you'd start off by creating a list of every variable you think could have happened or did happen. Things you manipulated, um, different things that went on in the SERPs, algorithm updates, you name it. Um, and you'd want to start looking in there. And then, long story short, if you really wanted to get into it, you would be testing and prodding at these things using a split testing method meaning that for a period of time, you've got this page up, let's say that uh, some content was uh, adjusted months ago. Um, well, you'd put the other page up and see how it compares, right? And you can do this um, a bunch of different ways. Uh, but again, you know, they, if you're building stuff the way that we build stuff, um, then it's not typically an issue that arises, um, you know, because I'm thinking about it from like uh, just a basic affiliate website perspective where, you know, we're reviewing a bunch of different items. Maybe there's some um, informational um, stuff on there as well. But overall, you know, it's it's. 
pretty straight line what we're trying to do with our website and what SERPs we're going after. Um, maybe if your website is also, um, you know, not a simple affiliate website, maybe it's um, a product website that's kind of obscure or something like that, you might run into different issues. But um, yeah, basically with what we've got, um, you know, the way you'd start about it is just by looking at all the variables that changed between the 30% turning into 70 percent saw something on this question that made me think about something as well so he says there's a potential client <laughs> so what I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go out here on a limb and i'm gonna say this potential client over here has been trying to either do seo themselves has been messing with their title tags has been maybe even messing with yeah, their content their page I layout and stuff too. Or they've also like, you know, hired some shoddy provider, some shoddy, you know, service providers that were, or SEOs or, or agencies or whatever that were trying to do the same thing. It's just a bad job. Maybe messed up their, their titles and stuff that's affecting their click through rate or messed up their content or even added a bunch of new content to their site, which, um, it's just garbage. You know, ba yeah. yeah, basically garbage content. And so the new con maybe the old content was not bouncing at a higher rate. It's still the same, but they put all this new content on the site and users are seeing it and saying, nope, and just uh, that's causing high bounce. Uh, yeah. But the fact that the potential client makes me either think <laughs> yeah. it's someone that yeah, got in there and catch. did some stuff they didn't know what they were doing or. Um, well, and then typically, like, you know, one of the worst things you can see in SEO is um, an insecure SEO running a campaign because there are so many variables that um, can create uncertainty that you'll see, especially like newer. And, you know, this is stuff that I've gone through. So, um, you know, <laughs> I'm comfortable talking about it. But I remember when I was newer um, thinking, gosh, this just isn't working. You know, it's been a month and I and I changed this and now I'm going to change this. And, I'm gonna, and before you know it, you've just messed with all these variables that have created chaos, right? And so, um, yeah, that can kind of add up to a lot of different scenarios too. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Be sure to check the description below for links to our blog for more info on this topic, along with a bunch of other cool stuff like case studies, our Facebook community, and our link building services. And like always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell if you enjoyed the video. Thanks and happy ranking.